Jocelyn Veris, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. So you may have seen me make a few posts on my Twitter being a little coy, like, oh, I got something, like, here's a very vague picture, like, oh, I have an arc, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I'm going to actually show you what it is today, so drum roll. It is an arc of Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Um, this is a YA fantasy. It's drawing on Southern African American culture and uh, the folklore surrounding King Arthur. So a while ago, uh, Simon and Schuster Teen reached out to me via email saying, oh, you know, Tracy Dion told us that you might be interested in a physical arc of Legendborn. Would you be interested? And I was very pleasantly surprised, like, oh my goodness, this is really exciting. And this was like a big milestone for me because I wanted to try and get a physical arc before my next book to birthday. And so it's exciting. I can cross that off my bucket list. So I'm just going to unbox it and show you what there is to see. So... And also, when they told me they were sending me a physical arc, I didn't realize that it was going to be like a whole production. Like, I thought I was just going to get a book in the mail. I didn't realize it was going to come with like this box or any of the goodies that are probably inside because this box is quite larger than a book. So let's see what's in here. And I don't know if anyone has asked this already, but... I'm wondering if Tracy Dion is a My Hero Academia fan or if the cover artist for this book is a My Hero Academia fan because this cover gives me Todoroki vibes. Like, I can't be the only one that sees it. Um... from Tracy Dion, and then there's a nice card, I really like these character cards, and then there's also uh, this flyer, basically a bunch of people who've given blurbs for the book, we've got blurbs from Danielle Clayton, who's written the Bell's Why You Fantasy series, which I really enjoyed, there's L.L. McKinney, who's written the Nightmare Verse. There's Kwame Mbali, who's written Tristan Strong, Punches a Hole in the Sky. And Alyssa Cole, the romance author. And then there's also one from Kirsten White, who I'm not familiar with, but apparently she's also written King Arthur retellings and reimaginings. Now, there's this mysterious tube that... But, oh! It's a schmancy poster. It looks quite nice. Oh! So, okay, so this is the sticker, but on the back, we've got a poster showing the round, the order of the round table, which is going to be very helpful for me because I'm really into folklore and folk tales. But I've never read The Legends of King Arthur. Closest I've gotten is watching a uh, quest for Camelot, which is quite far from the source material. And I I think this book is supposed to stand on its own, and I look forward to just, you know, enjoying it for what it is. There's a large mass of this red confetti in here. I wasn't sure if there's more stuff hidden in the confetti. But it's nice because it's going to make taking aesthetic pictures so much easier. 
I'm working on my book thirst trap, so this is going to be taking pictures of this for for Twitter is going to be good practice. Okay. So, my first physical arc. Come on, come through. This is a big moment. Yes, <laughs> that might get edited out. It's got the little. Uh, the little bubble that says advanced reader's copy not for sale. That's how you know it's real. I just, I feel like I've made it as a, uh, as a lay person reviewer. So, yes. Look at the beauty. I, I love. And I guess it's a good time to read from the back. It says, after her mother dies in an accident, 16-year-old Bree Matthews wants nothing to do with her previous life, family memories, or childhood home. A residential program for bright high schoolers at UNC Chapel Hill seems like the perfect escape until Bree witnesses a magical attack her very first night on campus. A flying demon feeding on human energies. A secret society of so-called legend-born students that hunt the creatures down. And a teenage mad who calls himself a Merlin and attempts and fails to wipe Bree's memory of everything she saw. The magic's failure reveals Bree's own unique magic and unlocks a buried memory with a hidden connection. The night her mother died, another Merlin is at the hospital. Now that she knows there's more to her mother's death than what's on the police report, Bree will do whatever it takes to find out the truth, even if that means infiltrating the Legendborn by becoming one of their initiates. But when the Legendborn reveal themselves as the descendants of King Arthur and his knights and explain that a magical war is coming, Bree has to decide how far she'll go for the truth and whether she should use her magic to take the society down or join the fight. So, that is my little unboxing. What do you think? Have you heard the Legendborn hype? I know it has been taking over my Twitter feed for like the past week. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one. I will be reviewing this, of course. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with me and my bookish activities, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one. Goodbye.